We used to think that ovarian cancer was the silent killer. And it was termed the silent killer because women didn't really have symptoms, or at least we thought they didn't have symptoms. In reality, 95% um, of women with ovarian cancer have symptoms. The symptoms are vague, like bloating, constipation, diarrhea. My genes don't fit anymore. Um, and so what happens is a lot of these patients get diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome. They get diagnosed with um, GI complaints. And there's often a delay, as I said, in recognition of the symptoms as, a, as a representing a life-threatening disease. If you have an increase in births, that actually decreases your risk. Um, breastfeeding actually decreases your risk of ovarian cancer. You can decrease your risk of developing ovarian cancer by 50% if you take um, birth control pills. Know your family history. Because if you have a significant family history of ovarian and breast cancer, then your chance of getting ovarian cancer goes from that 1 in 70 to about uh, 2 out of 3. So if you have a family history of ovarian cancer or breast cancer, you need to see your doctor. You need to make sure you relay that family history because your risk of developing ovarian cancer can be very, very high. You need to look at yourself and assess how long have you been having the symptoms because again, these symptoms everybody has. Um, and if it goes on for more than two weeks, they should talk to their doctor. One of the things I think you have to keep in mind is a, because these are gastrointestinal complaints, a lot of women do not call their gynecologists, they call their internists. And you want to keep in the back of your mind that you might want to call your gynecologist if you're having these vague abdominal complaints.